What's up guys? In today's video I'm going to talk about something that's been on my mind for a while now and that's how Vocaloid fans make the fandom stagnant. What I mean by this is multiple things so let's get right into it. First off, when I say fandom I'm specifically talking about the music side of things. No art or anything like that. When I say Vocaloid fans make the fandom stagnant, what I'm saying is that we are the reason why you have others saying things like, oh, the Vocaloid fandom is dying all the time, which first of all is not true, has never been true, and never will be true. Vocaloid has made a significant pop culture impact both overseas and in the West that it's impossible for it to ever die unless everyone collectively said fuck you to Vocaloid. So my first issue is that Vocaloid fans do not support producers. And when I say don't support, I'm not talking about your fave. That's precisely the problem. Vocaloid fans only seem to pop out of the woodworks whenever their favorite producer uploads a song. This creates the issue that somehow a popular producer uploading indicates the quote-unquote state of the fandom. If so-and-so uploads, Vocaloid is popular. But if so-and-so doesn't upload or leaves the fandom, there's an issue with Vocaloid itself. The fandom needs to let go of the idea that one producer or a group of producers is indicative of Vocaloid's popularity. My second issue with the fandom is that people complain about the lack of music, and that statement right there shows that they don't even search for new music. Vocaloid, Utau, Sevio, and other Simf originals are uploaded not only to YouTube, but Nico Nico, SoundCloud, Pia Pro, and Billy Billy on a daily basis spanning countless voice banks. All you have to do is search the word Vocaloid or the name of a Vocaloid Utau Sevio and the word or words original or an original song to find something new. I used to have an ongoing series on my channel called Voca Shoutouts where I would pick six or seven underrated producers to highlight and get people to check out their work. I found those producers for myself by doing just what I'm saying, searching the Vocaloid tag and original song. It's literally as simple as that. So when I hear people say, oh, Vocaloid is dying, or there's no songs being uploaded, I know they're full of shit. Whenever you search a Vocaloid's name, you usually get the Vocaloid wiki article for them, which includes the Japanese spelling of their name. You can copy and paste this into website search bar to look up songs for that particular Vocaloid. Alternatively, if you look up a Japanese producer's song, you'll notice that they have in brackets at the beginning of the upload title, the Vocaloid's name that they use, their name of the song in the middle, and usually at the end is another set of brackets with the Vocaloid word for original song. You can copy and paste this into the search bar along with a Vocaloid, Utah, or Sevio's name to find original songs made with them. This applies mainly to Japanese voices, but some English producers do this as well in their titling, and they'll sometimes put this in the tags of their upload as well. The great thing about YouTube as well, and as many other websites, is that you can filter your search by date to see latest uploads. So with all that being said, the resources are at the fandom's tips to search for, find new songs and producers to like, thus giving those producers popularity and love, and strengthening the Vocaloid fandom itself, musically. Vocaloid is different for everyone. To some, it's a part of their life, and for others, it's a fad that comes and goes. Some producers fall into the second category and only use Vocaloid as a means to jumpstart their career before abandoning it for other endeavors. It sucks, and it's shitty, but it's gonna happen and keep happening. The great thing is that there will be others who stick around for the long run, like Mitchie M, Oster Project, Fairy, Kairiki Bear, and more. And when your popular fave leaves, quits, retires, or whatever the reason may be, there will be that rookie producer that's uploading and sharing their passion with you. Ultimately, it's up to the fandom to create the state of the Vocaloid fandom and not allow it to stagnate. We shouldn't let popular favorite producers or the Project Diva games dictate the only songs that we deem good enough to listen to and take the initiative to seek out new music on our own. In the description I will leave a link to the Twitter account I contribute to where we specifically post links and descriptions of original English songs created with vocal sim softwares. If you like this video please give it a like, comment your favorite Vocaloid producer who's underrated and a song of theirs that you like. And if you want to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button.